Hi guys, my name is Ryan Draper, and today I want to talk to you guys about Ted's woodworking plans. The odds are, if you found this video, you're interested in it, or maybe wondering what it's all about, or is it a scam, does it work, what do you get, the whole shebang. In this video, I'm going to give you an entire tour of the members area, show you a few of the plans, and you can decide for yourself what you think. I personally think it's a really good value for what you get. There's no other place really I've ever seen we can get that number of woodworking plans for so cheap. And they're actually very high quality plans as you'll see, with a lot of elements that you don't get in woodworking books and magazines and things like that. But anyway, let's get to it. I'm going to go right into the members login area here. And I already have my stuff saved, so I'm going to log in right here. Now that we're in the members area, I'm just going to give you a quick little tour overall of what you actually get when you buy Ted's Woodworking Plans. I should note here that you do have an option to buy a DVD with all the plans on it, however I just download them all to my computer. This is kind of the main hub where all the plans are. First I'll head over to the section called Main Woodworking Plans Part 1. And if we scroll down here, these are large compilations of plans. Uh, each one has about, I'd say, maybe 2,000 in the first one and about 2,500 in the second one. And then there's the big book of woodworking plans that has around 500. And then this one about outdoor furniture plans. Then if we scroll down more, furniture around the house, crafts and fun items, outdoor collection, starter projects. I really like the starter projects if you're a new woodworker. It's just a collection of 35 plans that are kind of really easy to make, but are kind of neat at the same time too. I'll show you what actually the plans look like in a minute, but for now I just kind of want to show you an overview of the entire thing, what you get. So now we'll go to Woodworking Plans Part 2. This is kind of my favorite section because everything's labeled by category. As you can see, there's quite a few categories here. And each of these has, um, it's a zip file that contains probably 50 to 100 plans in that specific category. One thing I just will pause and say what I like about Ted's plans is they come with a cut list and a shopping list, um, which is important because me as a beginner woodworker, I'm not very good at you know, looking at something and saying, oh, I know what kind of wood I need for that or, or what kind of cut I need to make. Um, the wood list is nice because it basically gives you a list where you can just go into Lowe's or Home Depot, something like that, and buy all the lumber and supplies you need right there and you'll have everything you need for that project. The cut list is nice because it shows how, you know, what pieces you're going to cut from this specific board so you don't waste scrap lumber and saves you money too at the same time. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'll show you that in the actual plans when we look at that. But I thought I'd give you just a minute to look over the different categories here and see um, what you can uh, get with Ted's Woodworking Plans, which really is a lot of stuff. If I go up here and go to Download Guides... He does have a lot of just general guides to woodworking. These are books that would cost you, you know, 20 bucks if you bought them on Amazon. Just a basic overall um, guide to basic woodworking, things like that, joinery, tools you may need. So if you're a beginner, even an intermediate uh, woodworker, it really will get you off uh, in the right direction as far as what you'll need and some of the basics um, if you don't understand some of the things in the plans, although I will say the plans themselves are very simple uh, to use. He also has a recommended book section, which is just a list of a few books that uh, he thinks beginners should read if you're a beginner woodworker. And then one section I really like is the free monthly bonuses. Every month you get a bunch of new plans and you can actually email them and request plans to be made and they'll actually write them up and put them in future um, monthly bonuses which is kind of neat. I've seen a few in here um, that people have requested from before um, so they're always keeping them updated which is kind of neat. All in all um, I'm not sure if you actually get 16,000 plans I mean maybe technically probably more around 10 to 12,000 but they're good plans and uh, why don't we get into that right now? Let me show you. I'm going to pause the video real quick and then I'm going to pull up 
what a typical plan looks like from Ted's and just give you an idea of what it's like. Okay, here's just an example of uh, a project that I made before. It's uh, an intermediate project, which is nice because they're all grouped by, um, you can go advanced, intermediate, or beginner. Um, this is an Adirondack chair. That's, they always give you a finished picture uh, of what it looks like. And then if we'll scroll down here, they talk a little bit about what it is. And then it'll show you this. And this is what I love about Ted's word working plans. For every one of his plans, he has a tools required list, a shopping list, and a cutting list. And they're all labeled uh, alphabetically. So when you actually look on the drawing, which I'm, I'll just go down to real quick they're all listed so here's f h g so everything on the cut list and all the tools required are all labeled makes it really really easy to make these plans um, and some of the uh, more detailed things are down here for like this is one of the boards from the cut list but getting back to this um, they always recommend um, a finished product so your stains things like that as we scroll down some more it shows you the order in which to build everything. It's just a very good overall plan. A lot of people seem to knock Ted's woodworking plan, saying that he like rips people off. Um, I've never seen anything like this. They're all uh, original uh, drawings and stuff by him. Uh, They're very well done. <clears throat> in a lot of, I bought a lot of woodworker magazines before that basically they just show you this. They'll have a picture of the item. Um, and maybe a breakdown like this, but nothing labeled or anything like that. And for me, as a beginner woodworker, that was really hard to to see. I couldn't. I don't have the ability to just see that and be like, oh, okay, I know exactly what I need here to route this and cut this, or what boards to cut. You know, these pieces from. I ended up wasting tons of wood, which is nice about Ted's um, with the cut list and the shopping list. You really don't waste any wood, and wood, as we know, is getting more and more expensive. So that's a nice thing too. Um, here's more diagrams down at the bottom, and any like difficult style, uh, difficult steps, they kind of break down in detail more. Um, but this is just one example of an Adirondack chair plan um, that wasn't too bad. It really, it didn't take me all that long to make, and it turned out really, really nice. I should mention too that I have a special link in the description below. Uh, I emailed Ted and asked him if I could give a discount to my subscribers, and he said sure. So if you click on the link below, you'll actually be sent to Ted's Woodworking Plans with a discount to get it um, even cheaper than the general public can. So that's not a bad deal. I just wanted to thank you for watching my review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or anything like that about Ted's, just leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer it for you. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.